What's up everyone, Matesh here with MTech, and this is the Nokia 6.1 and this is obviously the Pixel 2. And today, we're going to be doing a speed test between them to see how much faster is a flagship phone than a budget phone. So this has a Snapdragon 835, 4GB of RAM, and this one has a Snapdragon 630 and 3GB of RAM. So how much of a difference does the processor and RAM really make? Today we're going to find out, so without further ado, let's get started. Get weekly tech news, product reviews, and how-to videos. Hit the subscribe button and turn on notifications so you don't miss the next upload. Alright, so we can see in the recent menu right here that I've got nothing open on either of these phones, so everything's going to start off pretty fair. Go ahead and hit home. Okay, and then we're going to start loading apps just to see how fast it can load them. So first of all, we're going to open up YouTube. A little faster on the Pixel 2, but not that far behind on the Nokia 6.1. Let's go ahead and open up the uh, video on each one and hit home. Oopsie. <laughs> so I have the background play turned on, so that's why that happened. Uh, let's open up Google Keep. And then we'll go ahead and open up a note. Go ahead and hit home. Let's open up Instagram. All right, much faster on the Pixel 2 than it was on here. Let's go ahead and go over to our profile page here. Go ahead and hit home. Let's open up Slip Deals. Once again, faster on the Pixel 2, but not far behind on the Nokia 6.1. So we're just gonna open up and go to Autos, under Categories, whatever that is. Hit home. And then let's open up Pocket Cast. Here we go, it's an in progress. And we're gonna open up the Podcast View. Hit home. And let's open up Twitter. Definitely faster on the Pixel 2 in this one. Not that far behind on the Nokia 6.1. And then I'm just gonna open up my profile. And we'll hit home again. All right, let's open up Google Maps. All right, not bad. Open up Transit. Let's go ahead and open up the Explore tab. Hit home. Alright, next up we're going to open up the camera. Pretty quick on both of them, honestly. Uh, switch over to the front facing camera and then hit home again. Now we're going to open up Google Play Music. Faster on Pixel 2, but once again not that far behind on the Nokia. I think that we're definitely seeing that when it comes to budget phones, you're not really missing out on too much. And we'll have to go ahead and go to the top charts. And then we'll hit home. All right, next up, we're gonna open up Google News. Faster on Pixel 2, but once again, not that far behind on this one. And then we'll just open up an article, the top one's fine. Hit home. All right, next up, we're gonna open up a couple games. So we got Mario Run here. Open it up. Pixel 2 is obviously a little bit faster. It's loaded completely, and now the Nokia, and it's loaded too. All right, let's see if we can start a game. Pixel 2 is in, Nokia is almost there, and we're loaded. Alright, so let's go ahead and open up, I can't remember how to play this game, we'll just open up World 1, start, and then we'll just hit, alright next up we're going to open up PUBG, which is a really big game for both of these platforms, so. Let's see how long it takes. So yeah. Okay, and it looks like the Pixel 2 is almost done loading. Okay, Pixel 2 is loaded, and we still haven't moved past the start screen on the Nokia 6.1, and there we go. Moving on. And it started too. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and see if we can't, uh, we can't really get into a game here. Just go ahead and go home. Now we're gonna go back through the apps that we had open just to see if they're still in memory or not, because once again, this thing has three gigabytes of RAM versus the four here, so I don't know how much of a difference it's gonna make, but we'll go ahead and open it up and try it out. So Mario Run, we're still in the game. Takes a little bit longer to load 
on the Nokia 6.1, that, but that's to be expected. Let's open up the Muse app. It took a little bit of time on both of them to open up, but well, that's interesting. This loaded up a different article? I was pretty sure I clicked on this one earlier. That's a little weird. Oh, I guess it's the same article, but for some reason this thing has like a weird formatting. Huh, that's a little bit weird. I've never seen that happen before, but they both had it in memory. They were both in the right places. I just, for some reason, they look different. All right, so let's open up Google Play Music. So Pixel 2 is much faster now that it's in memory. This one took a little bit of a while. They're in the same place under top songs, but it did take a little bit of a while. It took a while on the Nokia 6.1 versus the Pixel 2. Let's open up the camera. And on both of them, the camera has reset, so... I guess that's just how the camera works, but you can see it works. Uh, let's open up the let's open up Google Maps and we'll see if it's still under the Explore tab. It is. It is here too, and they both open up really quickly. Let's open up Twitter. Still on the profile page here. Still on the profile page here. It definitely took a little bit longer on Nokia 6.1 than it did on the Pixel 2. Let's open up Podcast. Much quicker on the Pixel 2 than it was in the Nokia 6.1. Open up Slick Deals. On um, both of these, no longer in memory for some reason, we're both back on front page. It might just be with the way the app handles it though. Let's open up Instagram. Back to the profile page. And back to the profile page. Both of them loaded up relatively quickly. Let's open up Keep. Right in the right menu, in the right menu. Uh, note, perfect. And then finally, let's open up YouTube and stay on the same video. Perfect. Alright, so there you guys have it. That is our speed test between the Nokia 6.1 and the Pixel 2. As you guys saw, the Nokia 6.1 was not a bad phone at all in terms of performance. And for a budget phone, for a phone that just cost 270 to almost keep up with a phone that cost 650 I gotta say, that's pretty impressive. Now, I'm sure a lot of that has to do with the Android One stock. Android One software in here, which is pretty stock, and versus the Pixel, which is also extremely stock. So yeah, I'm I'm pretty pleasantly surprised by how well the Nokia 6.1 does. And if you're worried about losing out on performance when it comes to a budget phone, I don't think you really have to be. But yeah, that's pretty much all I have for you guys in this one. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys liked it, go ahead and hit that like button. Subscribe if you guys want to see more videos like this, and I will catch you guys in the next one. Bye.